it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations. Oh my goodness, it has been a hot minute since I've gone live on this channel. I am so sorry for all of the absence, but started a new job and that takes up a lot of time. So we are going to actually make a card tonight and I am super excited because I haven't made a card in a really long time and I haven't shared with you guys in a really long time. So I'm looking forward to that too. So we are going to be playing with the Daisy Delight Bundle today. That's right. The Daisy Delight Bundle. It is so cute. I am really excited to share this card with you guys today. So as you pop on, just tell me who you are, where you're from. I love to give you guys shout outs. I am going to be doing a double Z fold card. And the one that we're going to do today was inspired by or is designed by Amanda Bates. Um, she is from the UK or Australia. I think she's from Australia. Yeah, Australia. Apologies. Um, from the Craft Spa. So I really like the way that she did her double Z fold card. So we are going to do that. And it's actually a square double Z. So I'm really looking forward to making one of those. I don't think I've made one before. So this will be an adventure. I've cut some of the paper already, but I'm going to turn you guys around so you can kind of get a feel for the rest of it and see what I'm doing. So you're going to have to forgive me for a moment while I manhandle my camera around. My regular uh, recording devices are um, absent at the moment, so I'm kind of going with it and trying to do something a little bit different. So, we're using some of the brand new paper from the Daisy Delight bundle. I'm so excited. So, I have a few pieces here, and I'm following along with her directions as I'm doing this. Just to kind of show you guys how easy it is to just pull up a card from Pinterest and start creating right away. So this is the base of the Z Fold card. This piece measures 11 by five and a half. She made hers with thick Whisper White. I'm just using regular Whisper White. So hopefully we'll be okay. Okay, so I am going to score this piece. So I'm gonna use my Stampin' Trimmer to do that. And remember it's the light colored one, not the dark colored one, don't wanna cut it. So we will be scoring this at two and three quarters. So we'll get that at the two and three quarter mark. And then again at five and a half. So there's the five and a half. Hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> we'll find out if I mess up. You guys are going to be here to watch. All right. And now um, Z bone fold valley for halfway card center. Okay, so now we're going to do this. So we're folding this in half like this. And then we're going to fold this piece back. So there's our square. And there's part of the Z right there. Now we're going to do the top half of that. So I have a slightly smaller piece here. And this piece measures nine and a quarter by three and three quarter. And I'm going to be scoring this at, wait for it, <laughs> she says, she's so funny, two and three quarter. So two and three quarter and five and a half. So those are the same measurements <laughs> as the first one. Okay, and so this is going to be a little different. We're going to be putting this panel on the front, so we're going to be folding this back like this and then folding that over like that. Okay, so there's our other Z. So we have our two Z shapes. So essentially what's going to happen is this is how our card's going to be put together. We're going to have kind of a square in the middle and then when it folds, it just folds flat like this. Cool, huh? Oh my goodness, what do you guys think? If you are commenting, I can't see any comments on my mobile device. So I do apologize if you're commenting and, I, and I'm and i not seeing them. But somebody go ahead and leave me a comment and make sure that it's working so that I uh, don't miss you guys. Okay. So now we are going to kind of get our design on and start making this beautimous. So I'm going to start by um, doing a, what am I going to do on this piece? Yeah, we're going to cut out using our big shot. We're going to use the 
Happy birthday, Thin Looks, guys. I'm so excited to try this. I haven't even opened this yet. Can you believe that? Ugh. Having a job is just the pits, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hi, Reba. I'm so glad you made it. Thank you. Okay, so here is the happy birthday, Thin Lit. I'm so excited to use that. This is going to be the first time you guys are experiencing my first time with a Thin Lit. This is exciting. Okay, I'm grabbing out my big shot and trying to make sure that none of my other stuff falls over. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that all the way or not because of uh, the way my camera is. Again, apologies for that. I'll bring you out a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Okay, so I'm actually going to be cutting that out of some designer series paper from the same collection, the Daisy Delight collection. Oh, I'm so excited. I just ordered, oh my gosh, that is awesome, Reba. I love this. And the other side of this paper, oh, gorgeous. It's Isn't it so hard to use both sides? Um, or like only one side of the paper. I'm like, I go to glue it down. I'm like, oh man, it's too pretty. Why do they have to make it double sided? But at the same time, I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this out of my striped piece of designer paper here. Make sure it doesn't wobble on me. I do have the magnetic plate. I just haven't got it out yet. Okay, so we'll push that through. Did you hear all that? These are like almost brand new plates. They're pretty close to brand new. I mean, you can't really see too many scratches and things on those. My old plates are a mess. There is an old plate. Can you tell the difference? Oh my goodness. Okay. As I knock everything over trying to get to it. All right. So, and look at that. Boom. It just like falls out. It's just like butter. Yes. Yes. I don't even have to have any special tools. I can just literally touch them with my fingers and it just falls out for me. Look at it. Oh my goodness. I love the stripes on it, right? Okay. So there's that. Now I can put these aside. And look, there's no pieces left in there. I don't know if I just got lucky or what, but usually, you know, have you guys ever had to dig all those little pieces out of your little framelits? So I got kind of lucky on that one. All right. So there's the happy birthday, and I am going to glue this right now down to a piece of Whisper White. This Whisper White piece goes on the front, and it measures, where is it? This is like where the gingham is. So this is three quarters square. I guess I can measure it on my grid paper. That's what it's for, right? <laughs> All right, three quarters square. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my fine tip glue pen to glue that down. And um, this stuff is amazing. I don't know how many of you guys have used it. It can be finicky. You want to make sure that you put the cap on directly after you're done using it. But if you let it sit and dry on your project once you have it on there, it is some of the most powerful stuff. I have ever used. So I'm just dotting a few places where I want to make sure it really sticks down well. You really don't have to smear the whole thing. And you can always go back and kind of dot some more after you get it down if you need to. If you find that a piece is kind of flipping up on you, you can always go back. Okay, so just a couple more dots here. Okay, that's good. So before I even glue that down, I'm going to put my cap back on. Okay. All right. So now we're going to pick this up and glue that down to our piece of white cardstock. And just like that. Okay. So I'm just gently pressing that down. I don't want to press too hard because I don't really want the glue to come squirting out the edges. So I'm just going to kind of tap in a few places and then just kind of hold it down for just a second with my fingernails and some others. And now I'm just going to leave it alone and set it aside. Hi Dina. I just ordered our new adhesive sheets under Happy Birthday Framelit through the Big Shot. Yes! Oh my gosh! Thank you because I did order those 
oh my gosh, in my last pre-order, I ordered so many things. I don't even know where I put them. And now it's like I want to use them. And I was like, ah, oh, I don't remember. Oh, here they are. Yes, these, right? The Sizzix, Sizzix sheets. Yes. Multi-purpose adhesive sheets. Thank you for the reminder. Oh my goodness. That would have been, <laughs> that would have been a lot easier than using this. Um, so good, good tip. Thank you for being here <laughs> and being my co-host. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So my happy birthday sentiment is going to be glued on here on that piece of whisper white I glued it to. It's going to glue on here. So I'll do that in a minute. Now I'm going to bring in my main Z fold piece and I'm just going to adhere my large piece behind it. So I'm kind of, you know, here's a design element. So the stripes on my happy birthday go this way. And so I think I want this to go the same direction, but I want the darker one at the bottom. So I'm going to go like that <laughs> point <laughs> that way. All right. So let's grab some snail and I just do the corners in the middle. It doesn't really take that much. And I'm going to center that on the back panel here. So again, um, I am using the Craft Spas um, measurements. She's in Australia. It's Amanda Bates. So if you are interested in the full tutorial for this, she has all of her measurements on her blog, the craftspa.blogspot.com.au. Um, but this piece here measures, which one did I do? The flowery background on that. So five and a quarter square is what this measures in case you're writing it down. Okay, and then I have this side panel, which I'm going to be putting, it's like, it's a piece that I cut off, I think I cut it off of, I don't know, probably the bottom. So that's going to go over here on this edge. So we're just going to glue that down. Okay, and we're going to put that right over here. Boom. Boom shakalaka. I like the easy ones. <laughs> and this is a really fun card, but it's also super easy. Okay, so I'm going to ignore my rule of leaving this alone for a while because I just, I want to do it now. <laughs> I just, I have to. So I'm going to um, glue this and I'm using old olive here as my solid color. So I'm going to glue that down. Okay, and then that is going to go on here, but I want to pop this up with some dimensionals. And oh my gosh, you guys, have you seen the mini dimensionals? <gasps> oh, I'm just like dying right now because they're so cute. Um, I probably won't use it on this. I'm going to use my regular dimensionals, the mama to the baby. So I'm going to pop that up on here. They're little sticky guys. And I don't know how many of you know me, <laughs> but I am a dimensionals person. I just, I have to, I have to raise the roof. You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. So we're going to put another one Oop, right here. That's probably most definitely overkill, but that's just the way I do it. <laughs> and then I pinch it with my fingernail in the middle. Um, because sometimes that helps me to peel off that backing a little easier. So it's just a pinch and peel. Pinch and peel. <laughs> That's the one thing about the live videos is usually I fast forward through all this nonsense. But then you guys don't get to hear me ramble. So I don't know. It's a toss up. What, Sophie? Do you hear stuff outside? That's my dog. Okay. So I'm going to pop that up onto my smaller panel. Now this piece of old olive measures, that's where the soft sky is, three and a half square. So that's the old olive right there. Okay. I, I'm like on my computer going back and forth between her tutorial and the one that she did that's updated for the delightful Daisy. Delightful Daisy Delight Double Z Joy Fold Happy Birthday Card is her title. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Ah, oh, but it's so cute. Okay, so I have my happy birthday here, and now I'm going to pick a sentiment to go inside, and I'm going to use Wishing You a Day of, um, I don't know, which one should I use? It's 
her birthday. Mm, I don't think really any of those. I mean, that one might go. Although, <laughs> can we just talk about that stamp set for a minute? Oh my goodness, I love it. Um, let's see, what else could we use? This one's cute. May all your tomorrows be as happy as today. Oh, yes. Colorful seasons wins. Colorful seasons for the win. And look at this, you guys. <gasps> How much joy do you get from opening a brand new stamp set that you have never used before? May all your memories. Yes, here it is right here. Let's make sure it's going to fit, though. It might be too. We can squeeze it. We can totally squeeze it in there. I'm doing it. I'm going for it. Wish me luck. Okay. So I'm going to grab my acrylic block. And boom. Okay. So did you see how sticky that was? This is a brand new photopolymer set that I have never once used yet. So what I'm going to do first to prime it, I like to prime my stamps before I use them because the ink sticks better. The ink sticks. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> It sounded weird for a second. So this is just the regular old stamp and mist in a really old bottle and my stamp and scrub. So I'm just going to spritz a little bit of that. I'm going to clean it first. Okay. A couple of steps, but believe me, it's worth it. And then I'm going to grab my Versamark and I'm just going to ink that bad boy up. And then I'm going to just stamp it on scratch paper and then clean it. And then I'm going to be good to go. So grab my piece of scratch paper, stamp it down, okay, and then clean it again, okay, and then scratch paper again to make sure I get all that residual off. And it's still a little sticky, but it's way better than it was. And now... I need to figure out what color I want. Okay, so I've got my old olive thing happening here with my Whisper White, So, but I wanna add a different color. And I'm gonna be putting a daisy on it. Oh, daisy punch. So I'm gonna probably do, I am really feeling the crushed curry. What do you guys think about crushed curry? I think, yellow and green are just gorgeous together. If nature puts those colors together, you know that something's, something's right. Okay, so again, I'm going to use my scratch paper and I'm gonna put our foam mat underneath since it's photopolymer. And I just wanna kinda compare it. Make sure that my ink pad's all nice and good. Hi, Linda from Louisiana, thanks for joining. Oh, you're welcome, Reba. I'm glad that you're finding some useful stuff. I try and be useful. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's do this for realsies. Now, I could get out my stamp -a majig but A, I don't know where it is, and B, honestly, I'm feeling a little lazy. <laughs> so I'm just going to go for it. Let's just see what happens. So I'm just going to try and ink that up real nice. These are the new pads, so I'm not pressing hard. I'm just tapping it a lot to try and get in all those nooks and crannies since this is a brand new stamp set. Okay, first of all, make sure it's in the correct position. Happy birthday is facing the right way. And we're going for gold right in the middle. Boom. Send me happy thoughts right now. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The moment you pick up your stamp and you go, oh, dang it, exactly, right? The sides here. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab a scrap piece of Whisper White. Let's do, this is good. See, I, I just pressed too hard. I pressed too hard on that mat. So I'm not gonna press as hard this time. I could clean it off, and in fact, I probably should. So we're not gonna press as hard. We're stamping on foam. You know, it's got some cushion. That's better, okay? So now I'm gonna put this away. I have the fan on, so make sure you put that away so it doesn't dry out. And I'm gonna grab my snips. Snippity snip. 
don't snip back. Sometimes I get weird when I'm freshly home from work and fed right before bedtime, you know? Okay, and then I'm going to cut this out, but I'm not going to go super close. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of white around to try and cover up my boo-boo. And if that doesn't work, I got another trick. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. We're cooking with gas now. It might take me a little bit longer. Snip that off. But I think it'll look just as cute, if not cuter. What are some of your guys' favorite tips when you make a boo-boo? <laughs> Have you guys ever done this where you do the whole cutout thing and stick it on top? It works, I'm telling you. It's, it's a very smart way to not have to scrap your whole project. There. Linda says, wish they had erasers. I know, right? Totally. That would be so helpful to be able to erase ink. Seriously. All right. Boom. See, we can make that work. We can make it work. It's going to stick off the edge here a little bit, but it's okay because it's just going to go right on top of my other card. So I'm going to snail that sucker down. Okay, right on top. And try and cover up. I have some down here and some up here, so I'm going to try covering up most of the one on the bottom. And right there. Okay. What do I have on my fingers? Oh, glue. <laughs> of course. That's what always happens when you play around, right? Okay, so now I'm going to bust out the glitter enamel dots. And we just so happen to have a lovely shade of green here. Dina says, I have made mistakes. This is a great idea. Thank you, Dina. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't even, I mean, I don't even know how many mistakes I've made. But there's always a fix. I'm telling you guys. There's always a fix. So I'm just going to grab one of those. Boom. See? It's gone. Don't even know that there's a boo-boo under there. And then I'm going to put this. Ooh. Come back here, you slippery little devil. I'm going to put this one down here. And then I'm going to put... These are ombre, by the way, which are fantastic. And then this one goes down here by the period. Yay. Super cute. Okay. Problem solved. Boom. I'm a problem solver. Oh, I saw something on Facebook the other day. Somebody says, you're going to regret that in the morning. And then I say, well, I'm going to sleep until noon because I'm a problem solver. I love that. <laughs> so cute. Okay. So this is the tricky part is getting this to glue down and be in the right position. So what I'm going to do first is glue this half to the front of my card. So that's step number one. Now, you do not want to put glue on this half because if you do, when you close it, it will glue together and it won't open right. So you wanna make sure you're only gluing the half that goes on the front of the card. So I'm just gonna use two strips of snail right there. So it stops about right here. So what is that, maybe a third of the card? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm not even gonna worry about folding this piece under itself. I'm just gonna lay it flat, center it where I want it. Make sure it looks good, fairly even all the way around. So I'm going off of this score line here with the edge of this card. And you know, I'm not the kind of person to do all that measuring mumbo jumbo. I just kinda, I just do, <laughs> I just do what I do. Okay, so now we can fold it under, okay? And so once we fold it under, if we hold it down, that's what it's gonna look like, vaguely. It's a little, it's moving a little bit, but that's gonna be what the card looks like. Oh, I'm so excited, this is so cute. And we're not even done. We still have a flower to do. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it, and I still have this all folded. This whole thing is gonna get glued down to this side. So I can go ahead, and put glue on that entire piece. And also, um, our tear and tape is super strong, would work really well for this, or our liquid adhesive, but you just wanna make sure if you use the liquid glue, you allow it quite a bit of time to dry. 
Okay, so now I'm just folding it up, carefully holding it with my fingers behind here, and then I'm just going to lay it flat. And then just let it sit for a second, press down on that, and boom, double Z fold. You could totally decorate this and decorate this here, but I'm gonna be putting a flower on it up here, and I think that's that's enough, right? It, you don't need to overload it. It can be pretty simple. And look at how cute, you know? Oh my goodness, should we? Oh, we could put flowers up here too. Like put flowers here and then when it's closed, they'll show right here, but when it's open, it'll look like they're popping out. That would be super cute. So many good ideas. Too many things, you guys. I haven't crafted in such a long time. It's like going through withdrawals and then once you get that, like a, co a caffeine withdrawal, like I'm a coffee person, okay? And once you get, if you have caffeine withdrawals and then you have that first sip of caffeine in the mornings or whenever, it's just like, oh, that feels so good. <laughs> All right, I had a stamp. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm gonna rinse this off real quick on my stamp and scrub. And then I'm gonna grab my daisy. I'm gonna get to doing some daisy stuff. I'm so excited. All right, so this came from the Colorful Season stamp set. Such a cute saying, love it. May all your tomorrows be as happy as today. Why, yes, please, and thank you very much. All right, so put that back. Ooh, oh, that almost dropped on the floor. Okay, where's my daisy? I had it out and then did I do something with it oh my gosh I'm a mess right now where did my daisy go oh I put it away <laughs> here we go okay so you can tell that this one has been loved already I did my um, catalog launch party and we used this stamp set it was a lot of fun loved it so this is what happens when you use any kind of red or pink ink but you know what? It's not ruining it. It's not, you know, it's stained, but it's not coming off. So totally okay with that. All right. So um, I am going to, hmm, I know the center of my daisy. I'm going to put kind of like a, a gold or a yellow thing in the middle of it. And I've got a lot of green going on, but I don't think I want to, and you know what? This is actually an outline. So I think I am going to use crushed curry, actually. Now that you mention it, um, okay, so some people are punchers and then stampers, and then there are other people that are stampers and then punchers. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? There's no right or wrong way. It's total preference. I am going to try it both ways, actually. So I'm going to try stamping first, and if I'm looking at my stamp or my punch, I want to stamp it like this so that when I put the paper in my punch, it comes out fairly close and I don't have to wiggle my punch around or move my paper too much. So I'm going to stamp that straight down onto my Whisper White cardstock. And I'm pressing a little harder because I didn't put the foam underneath, but you can see it came out very nice. This is, I think the spaces are just part of the, just part of the stamp, so I'm good with that. Um, so I'm going to punch that one out first. There's just going to be two flowers. So see when I stick it in, boom, I don't have to do a lot of fussing around. Just line it up. Oops. If I don't push it into my camera and make it fall over first and boom, number one. So for number two, I'm going to punch it and then stamp it. Boom. Okay. Set that aside. And we're going to bring that crush curry in again. And photopolymer, we can see through. Let's give that a whirl. And then this one, I'm going to have to peel off because it sticks a little bit. Okay, so definitely with a, a stamp like this, you can tell the difference. This one is much better because you punched it after you stamped it. This one is still okay. It's just off a little bit. You know, no big deal. Um, you're not really going to see a lot of it anyway because it's going to be underneath. Okay. So bone folder time. Let's give this daisy some dimension. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then this one. 
kind of giving it a tiny, tiny bit of curl. I do have to get this in an envelope, but I'm probably going to use a larger envelope. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look, it's a daisy. <laughs> of course it's a daisy. Melissa, what do you think it could be? It's a flower. What am I going to put to stick it together with? Oh, my English is starting to slip because I'm getting tired. <laughs> Can you tell? Let's see. And that's not quite big enough for the center, but you guys, looky, looky what I have. These gorgeous gold faceted gems. These are perfect for the daisy centers. I'm just going to manhandle this package open. <laughs> I normally kind of have some like OCD, o OCD issues. <laughs> Oh yeah, OCD, obsessive. Yeah, <laughs> but today I'm just like I don't I don't even care right now. So I'm gonna put that in the middle, like so. Cute, super cute. There's also a clear that's kind of a silvery. It looks kind of silvery, and I'm looking for my <laughs> I'm looking for my dimensionals, which I probably didn't put back in the. Oh yeah, I did. Here they are. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and, and I really want this one to pop. So I'm actually going to double up my double stuffed Oreo here. Put two of those dimensionals on top of each other or one on top of the other. See, give it some nice dimension and then offset and commit. so pretty. Yes. Love it. Okay. Now I am going to stick this up here in the corner and it does come off a little bit, but like I said, I'm going to mail it in a larger envelope. So I'm not quite, I'm not really worried that it's a little larger. Um, this card measures when it's finished five and a half square. So of course, it's a little larger than a standard card anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and attach that right up there in the corner. And to do that, I'm actually going to use my fine tip glue because, as I said, it is super strong once it gets to dry all the way. So I'm just going to put a couple of dobbles. A little dobble will do you. And then I am going to have to hold this down for just a second. So... How talented am I? This could go on for hours. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. Thank you, Reba. It's, um, I am casing a card from Amanda Bates from the Craft Spa. She is in Australia. Are you guys loving my struggle? The struggle is real right now. It's really real. Let's see if I can do it. Here we go. Maybe. There it is. We got it. Houston, we have connections. Okay. <laughs> um, but thank you so much, Reba and Dina. Thank you, guys. That, that really means a lot. I love this card. It's super cute. So that still needs a little bit of time, but there it is. How fun is that? The double, okay, let me get her, her title right. The Delightful Daisy Delight Double Z Joy Fold Happy Birthday Card. She used a different sentiment inside and she used the different colors from the Daisy Delight paper. Um, but other than that, it's pretty darn close to the one that she made. And I am just loving this. I can't wait to give this to my recipient. And actually, I'm giving them a gift card. So I'm probably gonna either make a gift card pocket to go right here, or maybe I'll like stick it inside somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Haven't figured that part out yet, but I'll post pictures here on my Facebook page when I get that all sorted out. I'm gonna turn you guys around so I can say bye. So give me just a second to be presentable because <laughs> I just got off work. Even though I'm don't worry, I'm fully clothed. We are okay there. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Melissa from Melissa's Creations. Thanks for joining me today. So yeah, that was a really fun card. I know it's backwards, but you, you guys just saw it, so I think we're good. But yeah, super fun. And look, that daisy ain't going nowhere now.
Yes. Okay. So if any of you lovely, lovely people out there are interested, I am doing a flash sale tonight. If you spend $30 in my online store using my current hostess code, which I will flip around and show you right now. If you place an order in my online store using this hostess code right here tonight, $30 or more before shipping and tax, I'm going to send you a package of the um, jewels, the new jewels. It's basically the same jewels we've had. They're just tweaked up a little bit. They're, they're a little better in my opinion. So I'm going to send you one of those for free if you place a $30 order in my shop tonight before the end of the day. Um, and I'm Pacific Coast, so whenever I wake up is the end of the day, <laughs> pretty much. So if you guys are interested in that, that is my flash sale. It's also down below on my Facebook feed. You can get some more info there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this card, and I am so excited to get back to crafting. So hopefully I will have more videos to come. If you haven't checked it out already, I am on YouTube as well, though it's been a while since I've posted, I will admit. But I am trying to get back into the swing of it. YouTube.com slash mcreations. You can also visit my website, melissascreations.com. Thanks so much, guys. It was nice to see you. Nice to chat with you guys. Dina and Linda and Reba. Was that? I think I think I got everybody. So I hope you guys have an awesome night, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.